Good morning, boys. Here's your English teacher, and I'm here to explain you on yet another lesson of English course book. Today, let us take up twelfth lesson of English course book test. With the lesson being named "Well in the Sky." Okay, you know well, right? The largest mammal on earth. Lives in oceans and seas, right? It's not fish actually. Something like this, bluish in color, black also. So well in the sky. Don't you think there is something wrong with the name of the lesson? We'll find out. It may have poetic influence or may have to do something with the shapes in sky. Okay. So. Without wasting any further time, let's begin with the ponder section. Okay, ponder means to think. Okay, so you ask to look at this clouds in the sky. What do you think they look like? You must have seen, you know, at sky from time to time, clouds do appear and appear to give you different sort of shapes. Sometimes they are like this simply. Sometimes they resemble like animal. Right. If you have observed closely, you must have seen different cows resemble like different animals or thing. Okay. So here, a set of clouds are given that resemble several animal. We ask to identify them. I'll leave the identification part to you. Several animals are there. Try and identify them. We'll identify few for you. Clear? Okay? Let's see. Just a sec, just a sec. Yeah. Very easy. What does this look like? Begins with E. Mm hmm. What does it look like? It's an elephant. Right. What is the spelling? E L E P H A N T. Am I right? Elephant, isn't it? The next up, what do we have here? Which animal has a hump in its back? Which animal has a hump on its back? Isn't it camel? What is the name of the animal? It's camel. C A M E L. Okay. What is the spelling? C A M E L. In the similar manner. Try and name the other animals on your own. This is your activity to be done by you. Okay. What names do you think will these animals have? What does it look like? Is it a horse? How about this one? What does it look like? It looks like a crocodile to me. So find out the rest in the similar manner. Clear? Cat, dog, these, that, giraffe, zebra, whatever you find, you do it. Okay? So, list the shapes you see, then say one word describing each one. For example, we saw two shapes, right? The first one was elephant. Let's say elephant, you list them like this. Elephant. You ask to? What? What? You ask to do what? Say one word describing each one, right? You ask to speak this one, actually. No need to write since we are not in one-to-one -one interaction mode now. I'll write them. Elephant. What is elephant? What comes to your mind when you see elephant? You can say, Elephant is a large animal. What can you say? I'll write it here. What can you say? Elephant is a large animal. Rain. Similarly, what was the second animal we talked about? We talked about which animal? We talked about camel. We talked about what? Camel. What? Camel. I can say the 
camel is called the ship of the desert what of the desert ship of the desert right so that is it very simple try doing the same for the animals now without any further ado let's begin reading okay so observe this picture carefully what do you see an old man is sitting with a young boy of your age and they are observing something isn't it they are observing clouds rain so let's read open your book for convenience if you have problem with the visibility of the video okay so here we go dadu and muzna love watching club so muzna must be this young boy clear dadu and muzna what do they do they love watching clouds did you know that your name comes from the clouds muzna so dadu says did you know that your name comes from the cloud muzna means the cloud that carries the rain says dadu okay so dadu explains muzna what is the name of his meaning it means the clouds that carries the rain okay so we learn one new word here and its meaning the word is muzna what is the word muzna you can also call it muzna no problem muzna sounds better so what is muzna muzna is a cloud or the cloud that that word that dances in the sky over no right what is it a cloud that carries carries one rain right so this is the meaning of muzna and who is muzna the little boy who is sitting with his grandfather and they are discussing about clouds where do we see cloud in the in the sky in the where in the sky and what do the clouds bring us they bring us rain isn't it no clouds no rain no plant no food what will you do so rain is very important right so dadu explains mozna the meaning of his name it says he says it means the cloud that carries the rain okay so now they are seated see dadu and mozna it must be very nice beside a field on a clear blue sky okay so what does dadu say see will uh, learn two new words before we read i'll explain you the first word is mustache what is mustache mustache is the facial hair that glow that grows on the part between nose and upper lip on a man's in a man's face okay here you see mustache right then what is crescent moon when moon gets into this shape it is called crescent moon okay moon has different shapes right if you have observed in the night sky sometime moon is full full like this sometime sometime it becomes half and sometime the shape is something like this isn't it when moon is of this sort of shape this kind of shape what do we call it we call it crescent moon what do we call it we call it crescent moon remember this okay when moon is less than half of its shape we call it crescent moon okay what is the spelling repeat as i say c r e s c e n t crescent okay so we'll uh, come across this two words while we reading the following paragraph okay let's read so 
So here, Dadu and Muzna love watching clouds. They love clouds. Clear. They love watching clouds. Did you know that your name? Okay, we have already read this. Did you know that your name comes from the clouds? Muzna means the cloud that carries the rain. Says Dadu. Okay, Dadu means grandfather. Okay. So there are so many shapes in the clouds. Dadu says there are so many shapes in the clouds. He tells Muzna. Okay. He says, uh, cauliflower, you know cauliflower, right? It's a vegetable. A moustache, it's shown here. Right. A crescent moon. Dadu is telling him. Clear. So now, Muzna spots a dog-shaped one. He spots a dog-shaped cloud. And he says, it has such a big nose. Muzna says, okay, it has such a big nose. Pointing at the cloud. See that see that cloud there see that cloud there see that cloud there i know of an animal that i know of an animal that just so dadu's explaining clear he says can you see the cloud over there and then what does he say he says i know of an animal that looks just like it says dadu okay so dadu says can you see that animal in the sky I know the name of an animal that really looks like the cloud that I'm showing you now. Okay. So, really? Ask Muzna excitedly. So, Muzna becomes so happy and he, in excitement, says, Really? Is it so? Clear. Whom, who's asking whom? Muzna is asking Dadu. What? He's asking him whether he'll be able to tell him about the name of the animal which he says appears on earth right resembling the shape that he is showing now so dadu says it's called a dadu says it's called a well and it lives in the ocean you know ocean right so dadu says it's well and it lives in ocean so muzna gets excited he says tell me more well dadu says there are many kinds of wells but the size of this cloud makes me think of a blue well. Clear. So Dadu says there are many kind of well. But looking at the size of this well, it reminds me of, you know, blue well. A particular kind of well. So what does Dadu say? Let's see. The blue well is the biggest animal that has ever lived on earth. Remember this, okay? Children, here is one interesting piece of GK. The blue well is the biggest animal on the entire earth. It's much, much bigger than a dinosaur. Clear? Blue wells are even bigger than dinosaur. Dinosaurs are those scary animals, right? And much, much, much bigger than an elephant, says Dadu. So, blue wells are really huge animal. you see? Much bigger than dinosaur or elephant. Forget about human beings. Okay. So big, says Mazna. So Mazna says, so big. He's excited now. Clear? So what does Dadu say? It is so big that you would be able to sit inside its heart. So see, the heart of this animal is so big that Mazna will be able to sit inside it's hard, just like it is so far, something. Clear. Your dog's nose is floating away. Loves Dadu. So, <laughs> Dadu in a funny way says, you are showing me that dog, you know, now your dog's nose is floating away. For example, this was the dog you imagine and it was his nose. Now, due to cloud resemblance, you know, what is happening is, this nose is getting rubbed and then moving to some other direction. And Dadu makes fun of this and says, your dog's nose is floating away. Clear. Maybe the nose doesn't like the dog anymore. Muzna giggles. Giggling means laughing. So Muzna says, maybe, you know, Dadu, the nose does not like the dog anymore. That is why it's going. Okay. Oh, it's floating towards the well cloud. So Dadu says, oh my God, this... 
nose is getting towards the well cloud okay towards well okay what will we do what will the well do with the nose fish need gills not a nose to breathe underwater see more knowledge here see always remember fishes do not have nose they need gills to breathe we need noses to breathe they need we need nose to breathe fishes need gills to breathe underwater without gills they will not be able to breathe okay so continuing explanation that is true for a fish okay but the blue whale is not a fish it breathes air and so it has a nose says dadu okay remember blue whale is not a fish it's a mammal that is why it has nose and then it breathes like we do okay so now what will mazna say let's find out it must have the biggest nose in the world how does it breathe here if it lives under water see important question right well lives under water we live on land we get oxygen from trees and all but under water how do wells get oxygen there is a big question being asked by mazna to dadu now what will dadu say let's find out so dadu says see we'll find out two more words here backstroke backstroke means swimming while lying on one's back okay then there'll be another word vivid vivid means clear vivid means what clear so let's read now dadu says wells are very special they breathe at the surface clear they do not breathe under water they breathe at the surface oh so the well swims backstroke mazna so he says oh i see now the wells must be swimming swimming backstroke you have a vivid imagination mazna loves dadu so dadu is loving ah mazna you have a clear imagination okay so backstroke swimming is must be something like this see mazna is swimming okay moving hands and legs backwards clear it's called backstroke okay the well has a nose on its back always remember well has a nose on its back clear well has a nose on its back clear so now let's continue reading let me adjust this in fact says dadu the sound of a well breathing can be heard from far far away remember so sound of a well breathing is so intense that it can be heard from far far away the well takes a breath goes under water comes out of the water again and goes puff clear each breath creates a fountain on top of well's nose clear whenever well breathes it creates some sort of fountain on top of his nose Yeah, such a wonderful thing. Pictures are illustrated here. Okay. And now Mazna gazes at the well cloud. So Mazna looks in wonder at the well cloud. The well with the nose on its back is moving towards us, Dadu. So now he says, "Oh, Dadu, the well towards the nose on its back is coming towards us." She lies on her back. her arms tucked in like fins so she says the well is lying on her back and her arms are tucked in her, tucked in like fins tucked in means what let's find out yeah tucked in means folded fin is this part of the fish's body okay you'll find more clearly in your book and this is the cloud they were watching okay so see it looks like a well only she lies on her back her arms tucked in like fins 
waving her arms mazna sounds so mazna sounds wa waving arms clear pa hello well so end of the illustration here this is written by siddhant chakrabarti okay imaginative story about wells and all clear so now let's take a quick look at the exercises children you have to try doing maximum on your own if you have any problem i'll of course show you but i want you to help yourself with the exercises i hope the notes have been provided in case they have not i will always help you with the notes even if you have problem let us discuss about them in the google meet session tomorrow okay thank you now let's take a look at the question and answer okay about this preparation section we are not discussing try doing them on your own then there is this mcq let's see first up true or false right t for true and f for false a blue well is bigger than a cam camel is it true or false of course it's true right of course it's true the tick mark has to be good fishes need wings to swim is it true no they need what what i showed you something what is this fins right so the answer is what fishes need wings to swim is wrong right fishes need gills to breathe is it true or false it's true do the rest on your own children it's very simple right now let's answer this question where do whales live where do whales live they live in the ocean so your answer will be the whales live in the oceans next two whales do not need gills to breathe why whales do not need gills to breathe why what is the reason what will we see because they are mammals and they breathe with their nose okay where is a whale's nose located what will be the answer a whale's nose is located on its back okay four how can we know from far away that a whale is breathing its sound is so intense that it can be heard from a far distance also right how does dadu describe the size of a whale's heart to mazna dadu says that mazna can sit in the heart of a well so big is the size of the heart of a well rain so there is this perfect session where we will learn about vocabulary today we will learn about alphabetical order forming adjectives by adding l uh, y two words okay let's see you asked to arrange these words in alphabetical order i think i have already told you what alphabetical order is what are alphabets the letter a b c d e f g h i j k and so on uh, is alphabet and the words arranged in such order is called alphabetical order and i have given you hints on this also so you ask to arrange this words in alphabetical order let's see so we have bag right so i'll write bag first and then a b c there is no c word d e there is one e word right so i'll write eraser and then in the same manner find out words and then do them okay so i'm not doing this class this is your homework maybe i'll ask you to do them again on google meet session and show it to me right next up we have this fill in the blanks you ask to fill in the blank one has been done for you there is dirt on my shirt my shirt is dirty there are clouds in the sky it is it is what cloudy what will it be c l o u d y is already there next the smells this smells like fruit it has a fruity f r u i t y fruity smell so do the rest on your own it's very simple now what do we have we have a grammar section let's find out let's study the table i do you go they take sham and jenny take he does he goes it takes everyone 
what takes right so against this what will be basically using this i do it cannot be i does you go you do we go we do etc okay so all the words written in this table and column can be used against each other like sham and jenny do not does he does she does it does everyone takes and so on okay now let's read the sentences given below for your standard you won't understand these things very deeply we will read through try to practice them read more and more and then with practice things will be better okay let's see now let's read this sentence he do his homework this is cross this is wrong he does his homework is correct similarly they walks very fast is wrong they walk very fast is correct okay so the exercise will be based on this you ask to circle the correct word she talk or talks to him the answer will be talks right next they likes or like riya it will be like ram and ritu go or goes to the park every day the answer will be go so children you try the rest on your own it's very simple if you want i can do the last one for you right the tables look very nice or looks very nice the tables look very nice okay you ask to read the sentences again let's see my friend has a pet rabbit i eat an apple every day he wants to play with the toy see the words important note here the words a and and the always remember children the words a and and the are called articles what do we call them i may ask you what are articles when i ask you what are articles you have to be able to answer the words a and and the are called articles clear always remember another important note we use a before words that begin with vowel i've already told you right any word that begins with a e i o u we use what a mm here is a mistake there is a printing mistake i'm telling you okay it should have been we use n before words that begin with vowel so vowels are basically a e i o and u friend so any word beginning with a e i o u for example apple i at there is a blank for example i at blank apple so what will be your answer the answer will be i at an apple and not a apple clear if you write i at a apple the answer is wrong so i'll have to write i at an apple this is correct clear so that's how it goes any word that begins with a e i o u and has to be placed before them okay so there is a mistake we use n not a we use n before words that begin with vowel and we use a before words that begin with consonant see a i repeat a e i o u are vowels the rest b c d and the rest up to z are consonants okay so with consonants you will be using a before the word with consonant you will use a before word with vowel you use n before word and the is used with particular words that repeat often in a sentence for example i like an apple i bought the apples from the market okay so let's see
You have to fill in the blank using your hand, and one has been done for you. I saw an elephant in the zoo. Do you have a yellow ribbon? Mina gave me a chocolate. I want an answer. Do the rest on your own. Only one remains. Now next session, what is it? Let's find out. See, we use the important point here as well. We use the. We use the. We use the before. Was that we have already spoken about? Example: She gave me a painting. The painting is beautiful. So the is used with word that we have already spoken about. Okay. So let's fill in the blank with a and or the. Okay. One is here. I found an umbrella in the playground. The umbrella belongs to Gita. In the first case, I have said an, but now it is that particular umbrella. It belongs to Gita, right? We are going on, on, on a picnic tomorrow. She bought a pair of shoes. The shoes are in the box. Can you do the rest on your own? I think yes. Could I show five? The gardener had given me a plant. Where did you keep the plant? Okay, very simple. Now let's look what lies ahead. You ask to look at the sentences. Do you know him? Do they like singing? Do we know? Do we know them? Do I have to go there? Does she dance? Does she play cricket? Does it look nice? We use do. Always remember, we use do with I, we, and they. Okay, we use do with I, you, we, and they. On the other hand, we use does. Does with he, she, it. Do not have confusion. We use do with I, we, and they. We use does with he, she, it. Right. That's how you go. So now let's fill in the blank with do or does. One has already been done for you. Like when do you like to eat dinner? Does she like to study in the morning? Will it be do or does? Of course, it will be d o e s because that's here, right? Let's try the rest. What dash they like to play? What will it be? What do they like to play i'll do six the rest is yours this doll is broken it what will it be do not or does not hmm it will be does okay yeah let's move ahead there is a performance section you ask to imagine you are a young well okay a young well is called calf Always remember, a baby well is also called a calf. So, what is? Mm, sorry, we'll get back to that portion. Yeah. What is your life like? So, if you are a young well, what would be your life like? You ask to complete these sentences. Clues are provided. Complete these sentences. The information you need. You use need not be factually correct. You have to make the passage imaginative, like cartoons and all. Clear? You can say, "My name is." You can write your name. I sleep in. You can write wherever. You can write, you know, I sleep in a bushy bed underwater, under ocean. I wake up at. You have to give time. My best friends are right time. In my free time, I love swimming, backstroke, upstroke, so and so. My hobbies are whatever your hobbies are. You can write. So this also is going to be your H W, which stands for your homework, right? So this is simple. Now there is this listening section. You also listen to the uh, listen to the description of a few flowers and number them. So 
this is cd wax base exercise we are not doing them you can at least name this flowers on your own okay so now speaking you don't want something how do you say that politely if you don't want something there is a polite way of saying if someone asks you know offers you biscuit for example would you like to have some biscuit will you say no i don't want if you directly say no i don't want it sounds a bit rude so how do you say the same thing in a little polite manner is what we will learn now okay so what do we have in the exercise let's try to find out by seeing this okay so see form peers and practice this dialogue you can try practicing this dialogue with uh, your parents or your sibling brother sister or whosoever you find comfortable with so you may come up with you may come up with what some other situation and create your own dialogue as well okay see i got you mango ice cream this little girl says now what will be the reply she says oh thank you so much but i do not like ice cream okay this is polite way of saying clear now another situation I am getting you new set of crayons. A girl says, "I am giving you new set of colors." Okay, what will be the reply? She says, "Thank you for being thoughtful, but I but please don't. I have enough colors." Okay, what gift would you like for your birthday? Someone is asking. He says, "So nice of you to ask, but I do not want any gift. Can we go to the zoo instead?" Okay, so this is how you talk politely. Good people speak politely, right? So with this, basically, we have come to conclusion of explanation of lesson number nine, and even brief hinting and summarization of question answer is also done. If you, uh, so your task is to complete question answer on your own. If you can, it will be wonderful for you. And if you have any sort of problem with completing the question answer, you may contact me and ask me for help. I'll show you. But since it's twelfth lesson. i would like you to try some on your own okay solo with this declaration let us wind up today's class keep learning keep working hard thank you everyone for being part of this class it was wonderful to be sharing my experience of this knowledge uh, of this lesson with you all thank you